Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your man, Hans Snowby, with another Hans Snowby Daily Recap. And today, I want to touch base with you guys on the work that I did on the song Pretty in NYC. I should be posting uh, either like a video or something around here. Um, want to touch base on that. I'm actually do, doing two in one video recap. Sort of want to just knock these out. So we're pretty in NYC. Well, first, let me tell the story of how I met Sans. So I actually met Sans at an event uh, that was thrown by my man, uh, Taylor Made, And we, he was um, partnering with Atlantic Records uh, to have like this showcase where, you know, it's it's, it's up and coming artists. You get to meet lots of different people in the same Um And I met, I met, um, uh, Taylor, actually, I think Marco, yeah, who's the, the founder of Marco and Music. I think he's the one who put me uh, in touch with Taylor. I think he gave me the heads up, said, hey, you know, you should check out this event. Anyway, long story short, went to the event, and as I'm walking in, I see this Asian guy, and he had like this leather jacket on, he had the flannel, you know, look very rock starish, and he's performing, he has his guitar and everything else, and he's performing like these ballads. Like these like chant, like almost 80s like ballads. And I was like, wow, I haven't heard that in years. Anyway, uh, he gets off stage and we just connected. And he was, he, was, he was from London, he was here in town. He just decided to give this a shot and see, you know, what he can do. And so at the same time, I was working on a record uh, that me and Nico were working to pitch uh, for TV. And I said, yo, this record would be dope if we sort of did an acoustic performance of it. I was like, oh, okay, well, this dude, Sands is in town. Hey, you can play electric guitar, you can probably play a regular electric guitar. Long story short, brought him in, and then sort of this whole thing happened where he was only supposed to be in New York for two weeks. I wound up keeping him for three months. And it, it wasn't exactly intentional, but I just wanted to make sure he got the most out of his experience. And I, I introduced him to, some people, he got a chance to meet Taylor May, he got a chance to meet Jane LaFleur, who's a, who's one half of Monster Beast that's uh, produced for Lil Wayne. That's one of Currency's like main producers. Um, he got a chance to meet Atlas, who's also part of Blab Chat, that also works with Illmind and a couple of things. But he got a chance to meet a lot of people while he was here. And it's one of him to get the most out of experience. Anyway, I wanna say eight months later, he brings to me this record. It was just a demo. He said he wanted to um, write a story about meeting a girl in, here in NYC and he would have to sort of just make that trip back across the pond, back to London. And I really liked the concept and the, the record for the most part, the skeleton of it was pretty, pretty solid. So I said, okay, cool. Let's get this sort of like an R&B flair to it. So worked on the drums, worked on the arrangement and he was just like, yo, this would be really dope if we could have a rapper. And so at the time, we're, I was uh, wrapping up the album with Wynn for Alton Inside, and I said, yo, I'm working on this record. He think you got a verse for it. So I sent him uh, the demo, and he actually sent back his verse in like, I think the next day or the next morning or something. Um, it was just a, a rough demo that he recorded on the voice memo, and I was like, okay, that's it. And so brought him in, recorded his verse, worked on a couple things, and then got that back over to to Sands, and that what became Pretty NYC. Of course, I had to you know go through mixing and and you know some things that are we recorded, but that was the process of doing that. And doing that record was just I, the minute I heard it, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I see where this is going. Um, but yeah, just wanted to touch base on that as far as like how that came about was again much like I said the last episode, it's putting pieces together that complement each other. And that's the thing you're doing as a producer, because if you have like a sample, and let's say you have a beat, not, everyone is not gonna compliment that beat, everyone's not gonna give a great performance, but sometimes you have to find the songwriter, sometimes you have to find the vocalist for it, that to become a record. And that's, again, that it, it sort of ties in like the, what the A&R does, the difference is, is that you as a producer, you're actually putting the, the record together, the a is more putting together the teams, now, of course, there's more aspects to both, and I and I get it. I'm pretty sure someone is in the comments going to be like, that's not, I, I get it. But I'm just giving us just a general overview so that way people kind of understand the difference for those who don't know. Um, but yeah, just wanted to touch base on that. So whenever you get a chance, check out Pretty NYC. Ch click on the link in my bio and just give me feedback. Um, if, if, you're, if you took a listen to it, give on the feedback. 
let us know. Do you like it? Do you rock with it? Do you not like it? Let us know here in the comments and you guys have a fantastic week. Again, for everyone who's following me or subscribe to my YouTube channel, again, very humble, much love. Thank you again. I, I can't say that enough. Peace.